Welcome back to the Toy Cave. We bought this big bag of Lego at a rummage sale this past week, and we're going to dump it out, sort the pieces, and see what sets we can build. What's in the bag? We have all the parts sorted out, and here's what we're left with. A very large pile of plates, some sticker pieces that will help us identify what sets they are. These vehicles are mostly put together, I didn't take them apart. And over here, we have our minifigures that were in the bag, and we'll use those to also identify which sets we have. Lots of wedge plates, Technic, all this. So I'm going to figure out what sets they are and build them up and we'll take a look at what we got. All of the sets have been identified and built. Um, the first one here is set number 7197, the Indiana Jones Venice Canal Chase from The Last Crusade. It is missing one minifigure. Um, the female character Elsa, and these two minifigures are missing their fezes. But we've got Indy here with his hairpiece. He also comes with his fedora. And then we got these two Grail Guardians who are missing their hats. And then we've got the two boats. So this one has a fun action feature where if you push this down, the boat gets cut in half, like in the movie. And then this boat also has an action feature. If you push down here, the engine compartment will explode. And then we have the little Venice docks with a little hidden manhole, a map, and these two buoys. The next set was very easy to identify because of the sticker. It's set number 7630. A city front end loader. It's got a little pivot here and a working bucket and a little construction worker inside. Next we have another small set. This is set number 8967. It is from the agents theme. Um, it's called Gold Tooth's Getaway. So here on this motorcycle we have Gold Tooth. He's got a gold tooth, a gold gun, and a gold flat top and a little Technic built motorcycle. And then we have one of the agents here on this little three wheel vehicle with flick fire missiles. Finally, we have the set that took up most of the parts in the bag. This is set number 6211, the 2006 Imperial Star Destroyer. With this set, we are missing one Imperial officer figure and the helmet for one Royal Guard. Other than that, we had all of the pieces here. It's a pretty nice set. If we turn it around here, see all the engines. And up here, this opens up to reveal the bridge with one officer inside. You take this top part off to get inside to play. All of these panels fold away. And here we have an escape pod, which if you push here, it launches it out through a hole in the bottom of the ship. There we have our two Royal Guards, one missing the helmet. We've also got a black R2 unit there, lightsaber. Two stormtroopers and a mouse droid. It's a little closet that reveals some extra weapons. And up and over here, we have Darth Vader's meditation chamber with Vader inside. 
none of these. There's his base. Overall, a very nice set. I think this is the first full Star Destroyer set they ever made in LEGO. It's pretty cool. So that's what we received in that $25 rummage sale bag. Goes to show you that sometimes picking up used LEGO is a good deal. You're looking at that Star Destroyer, which even without one of the minifigures, the box or the instructions is still over $150 on Bricklink. And overall, I'd say there's about $200 plus worth of sets there for $25. So if you can identify the sets and build them, there's some good money there. And that's why we buy most of our Lego used, because it's a lot cheaper. And you can amass tons of parts on a budget. So I hope you liked this video. Subscribe. Uh, and we'll have more coming up. Thanks for watching.